Hello fun people, I'm Isaac Carlson and I'm focused on spreading magic by discussing Disney. And today we're going to fully explain Lewis Robinson's wild family tree. They go through it pretty quickly in Meet the Robinsons, but everything kind of gets confusing when Bud keeps referring to people by different titles like aunt and uncle without grounding us with whose aunt and uncle they are and what part of the family they come from. It kind of just always becomes a mess in my mind, especially as the story progressed. Hopefully I'll be able to clear up all of this confusion or at least my confusion. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you would like to join this wacky family of Disney fanatics, then consider subscribing. To ground us in this big family tree, let's start out by zooming in on the boy I often get compared to online, the blonde glasses wearing kid in the center of all of these wild lines and connections, Lewis Robinson. Throughout the family tree I made, everyone who is connected biologically or maritally is denoted using white lines. So if we follow the one going down from Lewis, which I decided down, which to find previous generations, we find Lewis's unnamed and unknown biological mother. Beyond having Lewis, we know little about her, but if you would like to learn everything we are aware of surrounding her, definitely consider checking out my video on Lewis's mother below after we get through with this family tree. Lewis's actual parents, the ones who adopted him, which is denoted using that red line, are Lucille Crunklehorn and Bud Robinson. In addition to being Lewis's mother, Lucille was quite the accomplished woman being a scientist for Inventco, having experience traveling across the English Channel, and she even was a gold medal winner for the Luge. That was not something I picked up on my first probably dozen viewings. Bud, on the other hand, was a science teacher who was very committed to an odd sense of comedy which meant that he wore his clothes on backwards for a few decades. When I was growing up, I kind of always actually thought that his head was backwards. I really didn't get where he was coming from. You know, I just took Bud way too literally. <laughs> Lucille and Bud got married early in their life, adopted Lewis when he was 12, purchased the Anderson Observatory, named after the director of the film, Steve Anderson, and began to bring their family together. Bud had two brothers who inevitably moved into the Robinson estate along with their families. These men were Lewis's uncles. There was Fritz Robinson and Joe Robinson. Fritz was married to Petunia, making Petunia Lewis's aunt who I guess is alive, I think, or at least they treat her as such, even though I'm pretty sure she's actually an extremely angry little puppet who often takes drives in the Harley when she's having arguments with her husband. <laughs> that sounds like a stressful marriage to say the least. Likely there was a more lifelike Petunia who may have left Fritz or died, but we really can't be sure since the whole family just remains along for the ride. Fritz himself is really just a pretty docile character though, who is just trying to make his family happy. Petunia and Fritz Fritz had two children, real human children, Laszlo and Tallulah, who are Lewis's cousins. Laszlo is a committed artist who enjoys flying around with his copter helmet and shooting brilliant pieces with his paint gun, and Tallulah wears essential clothing modeled after skyscrapers and doesn't enjoy Laz's art getting onto her clothes. These two argue as well from time to time as siblings do, but Petunia typically can shut them down pretty quick. Bud and Fritz's other brother was Joe, who is the quietest member of the Robinson family, kind of a a, a unique characteristic for them. He is capable of having massive cravings for food when they are shown to him, one of those being peanut butter and jelly toast. And I got to admit, that's a delicacy. Uncle Joe knows his toast. And again, when I say uncle, I mean Lewis's uncle. He also works out, at least according to Bud, and is married to Lewis's aunt, Billy. Billy has a ton more energy and is much more excitable than her husband, especially when she's playing with her remote controlled toy trains. See, one of the reasons everything gets so confusing with the family tree is that we see Billy hanging out with a member of the family we haven't even talked about yet, who literally is in a different generation. Generation. Billy just looks very young and calls Bud grandpa even though he's her brother-in-law, making it kind of confusing to keep her place in the family straight. But hey, what big family isn't confusing? Speaking of confusing, Lewis also has an Uncle Spike and Uncle Dimitri who often remain in pots and no one knows and <laughs> no one they know, they, they have noses, they, they don't know who they're related to. Maybe Lewis's biological mother is related to them, but probably not, and 
no one really knows. And I really think that's okay. The point of Meet the Robinsons is to show that families can be built off of a bond between them instead of something that is purely genetic. It doesn't matter to the Robinsons how they are all related because what's really important is that they all accept and love everyone who is a Robinson. I think it's probably more interesting for us to look at their family tree than it is for them. That's all of Lewis's uncles and aunts since either Lucille didn't have many family members she was close with or didn't have any alive, but you better believe Lewis's wife brought in a few more characters into the home. Our boy Cornelius Robinson married Franny Framaguchi, who was quite the confident, capable, and self-determined girl. She not only mastered karate, but also committed herself to exploring her theory that frogs had more musical abilities than people, which led her to forming a big band of frogs with Frankie as the star. While some might have thought Franny was crazy, Lewis completely accepted her, internalizing forever that she was always right. A smart move, Lewis. <laughs> Over time, Franny became the matriarch of the family. She was definitely one of the big leaders who kept everything under control. Franny had two brothers, Gaston and Arch Framaguchi. This made them Lewis's brother-in-laws. Gaston was the wild stuntman who adored cannons, as we can see from him racing Billy's train, and at dinner when he lost a variety of spicy meats at his sister. Art, on the other hand, was a pizza man at an intergalactic scale, traveling across the universe to deliver food within 30 minutes or less. He piloted the anchovy saucer and took his job very seriously becoming almost a superhero for the hungry. Believe it or not, my parents said that was one of the first jobs I ever said I wanted. I thought that if I became a pizza delivery guy, I would get to eat pizza all the time. But as I've grown up, I found that is just not the case. <laughs> Together, Lewis and Franny had one son named Wilbur, who was a man on the go who often made a lot of young mistakes. Bowler Hat Guy took the time machine, he disappeared for a little bit, and almost destroyed the timeline, but he was also a good friend with a big heart. Lewis and Franny were doing good with him. Lewis also built a member of the family named Carl, which is denoted by the yellow line, and he's just the family robot who helps like any other member. Carl works with Wilbur, helps serve dinner, and works as a pretty good trip robot too. There's three other pets and minions as well who are named Lefty, Tiny, and Buster. Lefty is the extremely intelligent purple octopus butler, Tiny is the T-Rex who was brought to the future by Goob, and Buster is the dog whose insurance won't pay for contacts. One of those lines that you don't appreciate as a kid, but as you get older, <laughs> it's, it's good. However complicated, crazy, and insane the Robinsons are, they are one of the most welcoming, close, committed, and loving families Disney has ever created. And they were all brought together because of one genius boy who was searching for a family his entire life, Cornelius Robinson. But let me know down below what your thoughts and theories are surrounding the stories and characters in Meet the Robinsons. Also, make sure to subscribe and click the beautiful bell, and then click on another magical video in the description or on the screen. Finally, as as always, thanks for watching and have a magical day. I know the world definitely seems more overwhelming and crazy right now, but remember to keep moving forward.